few days after Baba Mubad said that Karimot's apology to him is not accepted, Karimo was seen to kind of join supporters of Baba Mubad in an online podcast. Hello everyone, you're so much welcome. I'm sure we all know who Karimo is. Karimo is the elder sister to Omaomi Cynthia Aloba, the widow of the late Mubad Aloba, who passed down last year, September 2023. And who has the longest, should we say the longest case, as far as we've, we are concerned. Every day is just opening of, you know the way you open the layers of onions. That's just what Mubad's case has been since he passed on. Remember we called last week as the most strategic week where Mubad broke the table by granting at least five interviews on different platforms talking about the Justice for Mubad movement. Apart from Alaro Ye and TVC, your view program, you also joined um, Oyimomo TV. You also featured on Papa Riano's program on TikTok and Dr. Kemi Olun Lawyer's live program, the very first um, time that Dr. Kemi was putting a, you know, herself into the Justice for Mubad movement as an investigative journalist, so to speak. Now, on Dr. Kemi's platform, when Dr. Kemi asked Baba to say, what can he say about Karimo? Baba said, me o mo Karimo ri, me o ri la ye mi, kun she ni si mo mo, a ri la ri, ba ta o Mubad de le, lo bo ta lo bere sin sori sori si ton se pe fun mi ton sori si fun mi on my platform and on our platform and everything 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 and he was asked to say but he has apologized recently karimo actually apologized the very next day that the pathologist read the results of the autopsy and toxicology um, reports in the coroner's inquest when Karimo was like, Baba, forgive me for abusing you on my platforms and everything I've said to you. Please don't be upset. Let Mubab go and rest and bury him and all of that. So Baba used that avenue on Dr. Kemi's platform to say, Our apology is not accepted. Hmm. Whatever you said, that's your concern. And I don't... Whatever apology you've rendered is none of my biswas. Hmm. So from that point, you know, Karimo came out to also drag. I don't even know what other words to, to use. A mother, a biological mom, who is also Wumi's mom, though they are half siblings, same mother, different fathers. Ade Banjo is Wumi's father's name, and Ogumba and Ogumba Yo, Ogumba and Jo is um, Karimo's father's name. Um, obviously, they are from dysfunctional families. Being half sisters or step what step sisters does not mean the family is dysfunctional. It's dysfunctional when there are deep childhood traumas and issues that has affected the trajectory of one's life, especially from childhood. Unresolved trauma, persistent um issues that are yet to be addressed or so many hurts done without apologies, proper apologies and dialogue, you know, because that those are the things I could see from Karimo's outburst that she did like two or three times about three weeks or a month ago. And a lot of people were pissed off to be like, no, you have no right to drag your mother. If the only function your mother has done in your life was to even give birth to you for that one reason, you cannot come online and call her Lori Buruku. You know, she was that blunt. She was that rude. And honestly, it is what we can call... I don't know if some of you have seen the movie Acrimony. Sometimes, people will hurt us really, really badly. And who can hurt you really badly? Those that are very close to you, especially blood relations. And when they hurt you really badly, you have a choice to forgive or not to forgive. But for Karimo to have 
however she has done it, maybe helped by father's family, studied nursing in Nigeria and also traveled abroad, you know, within the class of people she belongs. It's like when you are in America or UK, you are the best thing after sliced bread. This is not insult to, you know, everybody in UK or America. But people who are really humble, who really has made talk being talk being condani in UK at America. Talk being kongidani. They will never look down on anybody in Nigeria. No, they won't. Because one we'll understand King Ogba struggle. Mm-hmm. So they don't look down. They don't look down. I'm not saying that people don't offend them or something, but what's real life? You know, the more exposed you are, the more open minded you'll be in conversations and in your relation to issues. There's nothing we don't, we've not really known about both of them. You know, Karimo said a lot about me that she offered her eight bedroom house. I think the house is in Abekuta, which we later heard. When we refused and decided to go for the house, Bella Shmuda, she was actually the one that came out, you know. It's a lot. If you've not, Sherry, any other blogger, Casey Bobadi, long pay any other blogger. I decided not to talk about Karimo. When Baba said he has is refusing an apology, but let's just let that one slide. But yesterday, she was on the Yekudis courtroom show. She joined, and you know, it's a case case of okay. If you want to apologize to Baba, um, we will help you. You know, we'll do that underground and everything, everything. And the you know the analysis was about Karimo. You should have let your sister do DNA. You know, that kind of familiarization and friendliness. And you could ch- check the comment section for the lot of comments that were there. So, Karimo has finally found where she's accepted. Mm, because, of as, of course, as you know, the team Wumi, especially on TikTok, gave Karimo back-to-back, as in buzz at that time. Also, Karimo went to... This speaker, or should I call him a blogger, Koniba Jebibi on TikTok, um, I think went on a particular platform, then also went to his platform according to what he said, to say Karimo dropped the comments that Umi de Nak Koniba Je say Un Un Nak Umi in Yoruba, you need sorry Yoruba, hello Yoruba word to to clearly understand. And Koniba Jebibi did a voice note to Le, to Baski, giving Karimo Jegidi. Hmm. So, um, what I will always find is levels. Um, and it is just what it is. So now, the Karimo has found solace in the group of Baba Muba supporters who has promised to reconcile Baba. They never had a relationship, according to Baba, but we actually Bebe Isha. So it's crystal clear. Our own is if she has anything that is eating according to what Quiet Mubad, she should come out and say it. That's it. That should go cover a lower look and cut up by Mubad. But it was any yon, to bat it was yen le. To pay a lori bruku, to pay any buburu quaye. To she di yes sita. To boa bure, to shake pay fun, to she di a bure sita. Who wants to trust you? Anymore. Ah, in your king taller, earlier, when in lock ball, go out along one go go. Could possible family is sacred. You deal with your shit internally, but not to come online and start. No, and sometimes if you let a criminal take over you, you're not just buy everything, you're gonna, you're gonna destroy yourself. A criminal man fagogoni, extreme form of hatred, and that's why I was like, Can you forgive? Can you only need see me? Ever drop comment in the comment section? Be real.